Can you believe that? It was snowing yesterday. Snowing yesterday when a couple days ago it was like 80 something degrees. Oh, there's a pretty. Oh, bye bye, birdie. We had a busy morning this morning, huh? Yeah. We're starting to adjust the kids' schedule for a good cause, actually. Um, one, they're getting older so they can stay up a lot more. Not like a lot more, but I think an hour or more. Hello! Welcome to Flags with Dr. Sheldon. Yeah, I got nothing. What? <laughs> um, so we're gonna. See? Hey, hey, don't Whoa, do that. you guys gotta check this That's out. Enough. Look at this. Tantrum. This is a tantrum. You don't do that. Don't in do progress. that. Some people warned us about the terrible twos, but I think they forgot to mention that the pre-terrible two stage and then there's a post-terrible two stage. What, teenager? Teenager? Oh man. <laughs> but we're experiencing some of the terrible twos beginnings. We experienced that when they were babies. Verdad, Mike? Okay, 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 okay. I. Okay, okay, okay. Make it eye. Where's your eye? Ah, 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 ah. Look at this, look at this. Lucy. Eso no se hace, Lucy. No tears. <laughs> almost had it, boy. Why do you talk like that? Well, how come you don't talk normal? No, you don't. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> You're either you. yelling or like just like some weird voice. <laughs> I don't know. Just a second ago, no. he was like yelling out all of his words. Yeah, like that. Just... Why? <laughs> Explain. Why do you talk like that? You talk like you have threats. <laughs> I don't do such things. <laughs> Oh, ah. For five minutes. Do it without making any noise like that. I just okay, want to see. Come on. She wants the laser. See? <laughs> <laughs> you <did that. laughs> you can't you can't even do it. That's amazing. That that's amazing. He can't that's how he talks. I don't know why. Actually. Yeah, that's how he talks. Some grocery shopping today because look how empty that is. That used to be full. And we went garage sailing last Friday and picked up a couple of these because what I had here were, was so bulky and I can't stand not having counter space. So put the sugar in this like in these glass glass containers. Brown rice, brown sugar, and sugar. I am watching the DIY network right now. And you guys need to download this app, Snapfish. My cousin sent me the text and said, hey, download this app. And she said that for a whole year, if you download Snapfish on your phone, you get four by six, free four by six prints, a hundred of them per month for a whole year. All you have to do is pay for shipping. And my cousin, she lives in Alaska, so she only had to pay $2. So everything in Alaska, going to Alaska is, is expensive. So imagine if you're like in the lower 48, how much cheaper it is going to be. So I totally downloaded that. I'm going to take advantage. I'm thinking of making some vegetarian lasagna with garlic bread. What do you think about that for one of the days? Lasagna? Lasagna. What about my shopping list? Yep. Onions. Milk, chow mein noodles. Yeah. Luis wants chow mein. So today we have Goose joining us from Mexico. Mike from the Philippines. We're having good. Oh, sorry. Hi. <laughs> and then Abby from America. And I am from Spain. Today we're having grilled cheese. Totally off here, not from Spain. <laughs> Tomato got... bisque. Tomato, uh, what? Tomato sauce. Tomato or... sauce. And this is a strawberry, strawberry, strawberry smoothie with a banana puree on top. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Her friend said that she found 
us an antler. She gave it to us so that Luis can use it to scratch my back with it. So... I will. So you grab it like this and you go... I need nails. So I need an alligator crocodile paw for a back scratcher because this is too smooth and I like it. It feels good when I have nails like scratching my back. How does that feel? It feels nice. Sapato. Ta. Sapato. Ta. Yeah, good job. Sapato. Say sapato. Sapato. Yeah. Do you hear that? That's Luis in the shower. <laughs> Say sapato. Yeah, close enough. He's taking a shower. Study. Okay, guys, I need help with Lucy's bangs. I cut them again because they were some of them were this long and then the other one were other the other ones were longer so they were like staircases. This is what I did. <laughs> Let me see. So when it's dry, she looks like she has a mullet. <laughs> a very cute mullet though. Oh, what are you doing? <gasps> wow, Lucy. You want to cover it up? Yeah! Quack, 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 I always forget, they tell you this when you go to a salon, that you should not cut your hair when it's wet, if you want it to look a certain way. When you cut it, your hair is longer, but when it um, dries, it shrivels up and it gets shorter, so that's what happened with her. I thought it was long enough, when I cut it, and then a couple seconds later, or minutes later, when it dried, I was like, Bleh! It was up here. <laughs> Is that your poopy face? I go grocery shopping, right? And I tell Abby, I said, I'm not going. dressed up. This is, I, this is just a long sleeve, <laughs> and I put a tank top under it. I'm just wondering, okay, if I make it like this, do I look like a cowgirl? Because, you know, it's like tucked in. Oh, there you go. And put your cowboy girl's boots on. No, I'm not trying to pull a cowgirl today. I remind you guys, we are going grocery <laughs> shopping. Groceries, like food. This is not dress up. This, this is me just putting clothes on. <laughs> we are having to spell out our words now because the kids can understand. So I said to Luis, what about the S-N-A-X? <laughs> because if I say the actual word, they're going to be like, ah, ah, ah. It's hot! What in the world? Well, kind of. Um, so a couple days ago, our friend dropped this off randomly. He found it on the side of the road. It is like a spindle... It says like a spindle stool. They wrap wires in these, like huge chunks of wires, electrical wires in these, and this is pretty big. Like this is... Let's see. But... I am fixing it up right now, like sanding it because it's very um, jaggedy and needs to be smooth. And I'm going to use it as my crafts table. I'm going to put all of my paints and brushes in the middle. And it has this little step thing right here. I can put storage around it. So I'm really excited to use that. I think we spent what felt like an hour just grocery shopping in Walmart because there's always so many people. And every time we leave Walmart, I'm just so dead tired. We're gonna go to a market to get bean sprouts and it's funny how you would think Walmart carries everything but that this Walmart here um, the Walmart near here or the Walmart here in this town does not carry everything they're like little mini mini selections because I've seen Walmart in other places and they're way bigger and they have everything but it's funny that they don't sell out of all the groceries out of all the like the fresh um, aisle, what is it called? The vegetable aisle? Produce. Out of the produce aisle, they don't sell bean sprouts, which is weird. I don't know why. So we gotta drive all the way downtown. Yeah. To, all the way downtown to, 
what is it called? Oh, I can't even speak right now. I'm so out of it. <laughs> I'm so tired. There. Now you can see her bangs. Oh, my poor baby girl, Lucy. <laughs> What's wrong, Mike? Hmm? What's wrong? Back into winter clothes, huh? Back in winter wonderland. Oh, finally. Our Amazon came in. Let's see what the kids got. Um, a cereal for the kids, cinnamon crunch. And some Annie's fruit snack. These ones are, these ones don't have the um, pork or beef fat in it to make the gelatin. So these ones are vegan. Yay! Let's try this. Yummy. I want to try it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Here, I want to try one too. Lucy, you're in timeout. <laughs> Mika, leave her alone. She's in timeout. <laughs> Mommy said share. Lucy, you hear me? You share with Mika. Okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. Hug mommy. Huh. Oh, I love you. Go play. That was our second time being in timeout twice in a row. Lucy? Yes. Though that's way too small. Alright, well let me tell you what. Gracias. He's helping mommy set up the high chairs. Good job. Good girl. You guys help mommy while I cook, okay? <laughs> For dinner is quesadilla burgers. There's some um, sauteed zucchini in there. Some veggie cheese, veggie meat patties, some avocado, cilantro, hot sauce, and then chips and salsa on the side. And we all have the exact same thing, even those hot jalapenos. What are you doing? Leave her toes alone. What? Leave her toes alone. You're always picking. I if, picked you. If there's a scab, Luis will be the first one to pick it. Stop! No, she has a, a nail. You're still, you're picking it. Yeah, because it's bothering me. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Good job. Mike, I love you. I love you. I, I love you. I, I, I love you. Hi. I love you. Yeah. I love you. Look at him. <laughs> I love you. Kiss. Kiss. Mm. I love you. Go like this. Go like this. Good job. <laughs> So, before I go up there and do what I need to do, I wanted to share 1 John 4.10. It says, God is love. That's it. God is love. And oftentimes we forget that God is love. So whatever you're feeling low and sad remember God is love and we inside our mind or inside our hearts we are meant to love I hope you guys have a good day evening or whatever you watch this have a good day bye
the message that we're going to talk about today, the title is um, The Immaculate Deception. And we're going to talk about how is it that we're in this big mess that we're in. Why is it that there's so much suffering, there's so much pain, death, and all these types of things. But before we get into it, I just wanted to share something really quickly. This message that we're going to talk about today, I shared this message in 2008 in the country of El Salvador. Anybody ever heard of that country? Well, we were talking about the same message. And in the middle of the message, I guess the enemy got pretty angry that the lights went out. And it started pouring rain. And the microphones just, or everything just went dead. And so I just want to ask you this evening to just pray as we go through this message. Because this message is not one of those messages that the enemy wants you to know. We can trust the Bible regardless of what people say, regardless if there's skeptics out there or our critics and they say, oh, the Bible is just a bunch of fables put together. No, friends, the Word of God is an inspired book and it can change your life if you allow God to do it. Music